Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're starting with lesson 34 today, and in today's video, we're gonna make a to do list manager. So, let's get started. So, first, we make the title, which is going to be a to do list. To do list manager. Now, this will set the title for our project, and now we have to keep this. Let's see, you can delete this. Keep the link for the style sheet and now what we can do is we can move on to the next part we have closed off our head part let's go do this let's some style delete the body don't need that at all and now we can start so first we make the header for our website so it's gonna be a to do List to do list manager. Okay, just keep it simple. Now we make the input, which is going to be where the user uh, puts like text in and where it types in text. So let's go here. What's the input type? It's going to be a text type, input type, and the ID is going to be. Um, I since I is short for input, I guess. And uh, placeholder, we're gonna set that as enter a task. So now, when we run this mad world, we can see that the placeholder sits like the text, but like text that you can't really copy, but it's like there so it's to give the user like information to what to do. So now we can go down here, make our button for when we save it, but I want to give some space in between, so I'm gonna go ahead and go here, button BR, 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 which just stands for line break. And now the button is going to be having an ID of add B. And the text is going to add to list. Maybe not enter a task. Yeah, I guess enter. Enter a task. Yeah, let's just keep it like that. No, we make the list. The list, you know. So for from where we can actually input our item. Now the ID is going to be there. I is going to be um, list. There we go. Now, do not open this. That will be opened on later. We go skip some lines. Scripts. SRC equals to JavaScript. Script.js. So we have done all. Our, we have done our little uh, HTML. Let's do some coding inside of CSS. I'm going to do just like before last time. I'm going to speed up the video so that you guys don't have to watch me doing all the boring stuff because this again is just styling and you guys can do this with me if you guys want. So yeah, let's get started. So I have completed the <clears throat> the was uh, the style CSS. So now we can move on to the next part. So yeah, we skip that JS file, open up that, and now let's get coding. So to get started, we're gonna make uh, some constant variables. So const 
add button data current at element by id and then now here okay add now the button that we're gonna get is going to be add b so now what we do is we make another custom variable so we're gonna have three uh, custom variables these variables uh, are linked to with the uh three uh like the items here so the input the button and the list yeah so going back here task uh, input is equals to the document of get element by id now we need to get the element in the html now this will be our task input so it is very easy to assume that the input will be the trajectory for this so i constant task list is equals to document a document Wait, ID is list, yep. Wait, double check there. So capital L, list, add button. So this is gonna be that, dot add event listeners. So now we're gonna add some event listeners. So the it will be click. So this is like um, on event, you can say. So this is like an event that happens. So the function that will play when this happens is just a function I won't really get the name really so yeah oops seven there constant task text is equals to task uh, task input dot value now we're gonna go here dot trim now if the task task text not is equals to empty there constant li is in a list wait i'm pretty sure it's like uh, li there there we go is equals to document dot document dot get element by id now we get the list elements that you have given li li ul i have my list though so li yeah li dot text content is equals to task task uh, text task list dot append child so now appending the the list or like not the list but the, the like that um what the contents like the you have your ul and then you have the small items these are so that says li so there now what we're doing is we're appending the li so there we go task input dot value and we said that is equals to there so this will set the task input to down to this empty bracket there give me a second one there okay nice 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 
No, no, no. We can just start with the next part. So, task list dot add event listeners on the click function. We will uh, on click. We will uh, do the function there. If event with no hypothesis in the brackets, if event dot target dot node name is equals to is equals to is equals to six <laughs> li. Or this is in capitalization or like capitalized there. Event dot target dot remove. Okay, cool. So now we have our to do list. So ASD don't seem to have my list. Okay, I have my list here. Let me just check this. I think there's a problem here. Add B. L -I -L -I -L -I. Just a bunch of LI. Just gonna double check if the uh, script JS is connected correctly. Yes, it is. It's not adding anywhere. Hmm. Nothing here it doesn't do two issues. Show me the issues. I'll be back when I fix this. Okay, so after running into some multiple issues, I have finally fixed it after absolutely absolutely deteriorating my sanity. I have finally fixed it. I hate debugging code, it's annoying like crazy. So this is why I don't make mistakes from the beginning. It could be some for, uh, fun for someone, some people, if you knew what the error was and you had to figure out what it would be, but like now it's just hiding in plain sight because really there's nothing I can really see because it's not doing the task it's supposed to be. But basically, as you guys see, I have added the new event inside this function because when I was using event here, I was using a like undefined thing. So now I have to give that as an argument inside the function and now we're using this over here and over here also the opening brackets right here wait let me just delete this so the opening brackets that are here they're supposed they closed here they closed not over here since this is a basically the the it's <laughs> had list uh, add event listener and we're making a function inside of the add event listener which again is closed by using this so if i close this already here it, it, the uh, code will not be this will not be read same thing happened up here i can show you guys this one it highlights to this one this one highlights to this one and this one highlights to this one no it should be highlighting to wait there, this one and this one is highlighted to this one so now hello milk cheese and then you can select these and they will get deleted we'll get here sorry for the interruption yes uh so now that is it will be it that will be it for today's video see you guys in the next video